Hello everyone, today I am going to explain the third problem of late code weekly contest 309 which is longest nice survey. So we are given an array of length n and uh, a positive integers. We call a survey nums uh, nice. So survey of nums is nice if the bitwise end of every pair of elements uh, are in different or that are in different position in the survey is equal to zero. So uh, let's say we are given an array from a1 to let's say a n and we will take some sub array from int let's say a l to a r and uh, it, it will be called nice if uh, for every uh, i and j belonging to l comma r so uh, let's say uh, i from l to r l to r i and similarly j from l to r j from l to r a i uh, and a j is equal to zero i guess so ai and aj if it's equal to zero and if this condition is satisfied then we can call this survey nice uh, and we have to return the link of the longest nice survey now <coughs> let's think uh, what could be our solution approach so let's say we are at any index i let's say i is the starting position of the survey okay so i is the starting position of the survey and we will iterate from i i plus one i plus two to till n okay now uh, let us think what could be the maximum length of the longest survey so longest survey means that ai and aj should be equals to zero that means there is no common bits in ai and aj and another important constant is that ai is greater than zero so <clears throat> ai and aj is equals to zero that means there are no common bits in ai uh, and aj so for the most optimal case, let's say ai is some 2 to the power k and aj is 2 to the power l. And uh, similarly, for every values of i, i plus 1, i uh, and till let's say i to j is the survey. So for every value from i to j or l to r, you can say uh, a of i is 2 to the power i, let's say. So uh, what would be the length of the longest survey here? The length of the longest survey is 2 to the power 30 because AI is less than equals to 2 to the power 30. So length of the longest survey is 30. Because in the most optimal case we are saying is that uh, AI equals to 2 to the power I for that survey. So that is the case. So we can iterate on this survey and check uh, for every two element in the survey if the end of the two elements is equal to zero or not if it is equals to zero and then we can say that the longest survey is answer maximum answer from a length of the set survey so we can iterate from for every values of i we can iterate from i to i plus 30 and if we will check that uh, let's say i to j if it is nice or not so for checking i to j if it is um, like <clears throat> i to j is nice or not you can do order of uh, n squared thing like just calculating the um, uh, bitwise end of every pair in that survey day. that could be trivial uh, the time complexity could be order of 900 into n i am not sure it will pass or not that's why uh, i am showing you that order of 30 into n approach so order of 30 into n approach is that uh, we are iterating from i to j and we will just calculate the let's delete these things so let's say what is the order of 13 to an approach so let's say our starting value of the survey is i and we are iterating from i to j let's say i to i plus i, I plus 30 now what will be our c okay so what will be our c uh, c will contain uh, like the bitwise or of all the elements of the survey c will contain bitwise or of all the elements in the survey so now you will check that uh, let's say we are iterating from i to i plus 30 with the variable j so we will check if c and aj is equals to 0 then we will only increment the value of j otherwise we will break so let this is the simple code uh, so we will iterate from i to n and for j equals to i to i plus n you can also say it i plus 30 so uh, c is uh, storing the bitwise or of all the values in the survey so if c and aj will just p equals to j and break and at the end we are returning answer equals to maximum answer from a p minus i and we are storing p, p equals to j here so you might argue why why it is happening like why st st storing the bitwise or and checking the bitwise or and and is working for us so let's observe that ei and aj is zero 
so ai and aj is zero that means that uh, for this value j uh, i2 j minus 1 like the bitwise end of um, ai and aj ai plus 1 and aj up till aj minus 1 and aj equals, equals to 0 so we can say ai and aj is equals to 0 similarly ai and uh, ai plus 1 and aj is also 0 similarly aj minus 1 aj is also 0 so that means that if we take bitwise end of all these values so if we take bitwise end of ai ai plus 1 till aj minus 1 and check if the bitwise order of all these values and aj is equals to 0 then we are cumulatively checking all these conditions so that is uh, why we are just storing the bitwise order of all the values in c and checking if c and aj is 0 that means that uh, we have to break now uh, otherwise um, um, we are just incrementing the value of j so i hope you got my explanation you could have any doubt uh, you can always ask me in the uh, comment section please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you